In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a driver's side front brake hose on your Ford Expedition. Using a 22 millimeter socket, remove the six lug nuts. and remove the wheel. Squeeze the clip and push it through the bracket for the vacuum hose. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the bolt for the brake line bracket. For the plastic clamp, holding the ABS wire to the brake hose. On the bottom side, there's gonna be this little tab. We're gonna use a flat blade screwdriver and lift up and then we can open that up and pull the brake hose out of that bracket. Using a 13 millimeter wrench, we're gonna crack the fitting at the top. Once you have it unthreaded, we can pull the line out. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the bolt for the bracket for this brake hose. Remove the bolt. And we're gonna pull our bracket off. You may not need to remove the bracket on your car, the reason we had to remove the bracket is because this clip was facing the backside and you're not able to get it off. The way this clip comes off, use a pair of pliers and we're gonna pull it straight off the back. like that. Once we have the clip off, we can then remove the line out of the bracket. Then we'll go to the back of the caliper and remove the bolt. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the union bolt out of the caliper. Remove the bolt. We're going to remove the crush washers off of the bolt. Take the crush washers off of the union bolt. And we're going to install one of the new ones. Install the union bolt into your brake line. And on the back side, install one more crush washer. We're going to get the brake line bolt started. Snug it down. We're going to put the brake line bracket in place on the knuckle and we're going to get that bolt started. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to snug down the bolt. We're going to install the top bracket. Snug the bolt down. I'm just going to clean up the top of this bracket of any rust or dirt. We're going to install the brake line into the top bracket. Make sure it lines up with the hex in the bracket. And then we're going to put our clip on. Get the clip fully seated. We're going to grab the hard line and install it into the new brake line. I like these little fittings to be able to move by finger, 
so I can get the line started without any tools. Install it into our line. We're going to wrap the ABS plastic clip around the brake line and then lock it shut. Install the vacuum line clip into the bracket. Torque the union bolt to 40 newton meters. Remove the bleeder cap. Using a 3 8 wrench, we're going to crack the bleeder screw free. In my case, I'm going to be using a pair of adjustables. We're going to wait for a steady stream of fluid with no bubbles, and then we'll close it. Once we have a steady stream of fluid without any bubbles, we're going to go ahead and close the bleeder screw and snug it down and install the bleeder cap. Using a bit of parts cleaner on a clean rag, we're going to wipe down any area that got wet. The reason we do this is so that we can find any drips. Install the wheel and get the lug nuts started. Snug down the lug nuts. Torque the lug nuts to 150 foot-pounds in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.